in 1559 lived Kilomoto Yoshi Toyota, a samurai better known as Kyoto, and he was a feared warrior from an empire known for its legend being non-existent, without land ownership, and brutally dangerous for launching brute attacks on those settled allegiances, thriving on the resources as the law permitted, the law of the mobile warrior called Kwikata draw a fish and live. The legend has it this introvert, mobile unsettled force called themselves Nakamote dead. Kyoto was a right-hand warrior of the general Yotashemkil and he was nurtured from being a tenacious hard knocks warrior, Yotashemkil, or short known Shemkil noticed the warrior's relentless attempts to gain nobility being seen with strength, and never giving up on challenges for his will was strong for his desire to conquer an oath he had taken to himself, so it is said, and his will to coordinate with generals for the allegiance was proven to be strong having proven to be loyal to Nakamote dead. Shemkil looked at his warrior Kyoto as a friend in war seeing that the spirit possessed by Kyoto, was descended from a samurai legend who became valued like a god known as Kil Emal. Shemkil was an elite general who made many notations changing history and the way the peasants of his following conducted their lively duties, making life easy to stay connected to family and tribe, and values of the samurai. Shemkil led many, and grew tribes encouraging their strength of mind to defeat the tyrant pacifistic empires, destroying the enemies with the arts of Kilim the sacred art that samurai warriors achieved mastery in once proven to be skilled and looked upon as a tyrant in battle and model in tribal commute being sought as a desired exemplar. Shemkil loved being in power, and sought to destroy other empires because he could, and he knew it would serve to his name and tribes being long after he lived and he did not live to see his name be looked upon as like a superhero because he made the great sacrifice of the samurai and he took his life knowing it would serve his name and throw off his adversaries for centuries to come giving strength to Nakamote dead, so the tribe may wreak havoc and break the oppressors of his will fast. Throughout the test of time, and leaving them buried in their studies of his mysteries that they fret to figure out. Shemkil left power divided to his loyal generals and with great fortune of unbuilt upon and feared lands that were built upon his legend with gruesome warfare. Kyoto served to protect a river that flourished as a surplus resource to Nakamote dead. He was at peace with his mission and never was disturbed with the new laid-back lifestyle until one day, he saw a beautiful Japanese goddess bathing in the river. He was alert and scoured the area for more intruders and he found seven men and two women he presumed they were peasant servants of the goddess and one by one he chopped of their heads and quickly rescoured the area for certainty his land was protected he crept to the scene of the nude beauty, the goddess, and shouted how dare you. The goddess turned and said, excuse me. Kyoto replied, you bathed in sacred land, the god stated, but this land was not occupied. But it is mine. Kyoto shouted. Well warrior man there is nowhere else to serve travelers for miles. That is not my problem this is sacred land of the spirit that I possess and I am sworn to protect until my death. Well she explained, there is no postings of such sacredness and Kyoto interruptedly explained, the law is justly in his favor to take actions that he may. The goddess persistently, insists to see the law and explained, the land is vacant, there is no empire and no generals. Kyoto explained that Nakamote dead, is the empire of no land seen and it thrives by the law Kwikata draw a fish and live. Kyoto drew his weapon and the goddess yelled, wait I mean no harm and my family is awaiting their turn to bathe just north of here, less than one mile. Kyoto looked down and shook his head and explained, those peasants are dead and pointed to the blood still on his sword. The goddess was outright infuriated and she moved quickly, quicker than he had ever seen any goddess move, or perhaps he was taken by her beauty never being alone with a goddess especially that was nude, it is an uncommon factor at war and in his early chapters all his task was brute, gruesome attack and that's what he knew best. War and she didn't fit the typical warrior standard by definition from the eye of Kyoto's perspective. Every day all he did was kill em all. She moved like magic and hit Kyoto's chest plate and he was elevated in the air one foot above ground air lifted and moved by the force then stopped abruptly by a tree he called once the great tree because he rested there. Why did you kill my family? She yelled as he was on the ground preparing to stand to engage and kill her. As Kyoto stood up he quick drew his sword, and he drew high, 
the goddess was eye piercing him as his sword was above his head ready to kill her at the first strike. He explained the law is mine and the art killum is what he is master of that is why I kill em all, I may have spared the peasants, but they stole my fish. Who are you he asked. She said she is the mother goddess of the wicked souls of war with her piercing eyes she moved him again raising him above her head. Kyoten never knew of such a force one can only imagine his thoughts. His sword dangled down in front of him and she said those were not peasants they are my family who have sacrificed their greatnesses to increase mine, they have done good and have good karma. Mr. Kill em all it is your turn to die, and with a magnetic force she drew the warrior's sword and he fell and hit the ground hard and he tried to crawl away and she casually walked behind him and said say goodbye to your head. She chopped off his head, and Kyoto's soul was irate and the goddess of wicked souls went on to reinstill the heads of her family. Kyoto was baffled because he could see his body laying lifeless and his head detached. He shouted, and at first the goddess of wicked souls ignored his plea, then once more he shouted am I dead? Can you reinstill life to me too? And she implied you will not live as you did before, but because of your loyalty you have my interest in a chance at anew and that is a chance do not attempt to betray the magic you will not defeat its karma and the rest of Nakamote dead is under my spell and she showed him a magic image that was clear in portrait 3D image form, and he understood if he cared about his tribe he had to be wise with his anew way and journey a journey to do good now, by fighting to make differences. You will call me general of wicked souls, and report to me multiple times a day and don't forget Nakamote dead, and mercy upon those you may love is mine. Is that understood Mr. Kill em all? Yes, General of Wicked Souls replied Kyoto and further, you make yourself clear, but I have questions of course. General of Wicked Souls replied, answers may be earned in time with exemplar examples with duties you complete. With a pierce of the goddess's eyes life had been restored and he followed and begun to serve the new tribe faithfully in hopes of figuring out his new world. To be continued. June 1, 2016 Author Gabriel A. Tony Sr. Art illustrations by number CFQ number Carl fucking Quintiliani every day, knock em dead kill em all, never give up, just keep painting. Carl Quintiliani all rights reserved. Supporting Nomad Art Bus supports art for all people support nomadartbus.org follow Nomad Art Bus on Facebook and support art for all people.